our question today from our viewer uh, is about iron. And they have asked, uh, could you please offer some advice on increasing iron while on a plant-based diet? And is it okay to take iron supplements? The important question. Iron is obviously very important. Uh, we need iron to make hemoglobin, that protein that carries our oxygen to our tissues. But too much iron is not a good thing. Iron overload uh, causes a lot of mischief in the body because iron rusts, as your car bumper will tell you, uh, anytime iron is exposed to water and oxygen, which happens in our body, uh, it can go to iron oxide and, and rust. And uh, you don't see physical rust in the body, but it can certainly play a role in, in damaging DNA and cell membranes. You don't want to have unleashed oxidation going on in your body. And so that's a concern uh, with too much iron who might be uh, uh, predisposed to having too much iron. Now I know the question is the folks, especially the plant eaters who are short of iron, we'll get to you in a minute. Uh, but before people think, oh, iron, I need some red meat, the little time out on that. Uh, there's a problem with that mechanism. Uh, it's true, red meat has iron in it, and uh, you're this blood of the animal, and uh, there's certainly iron in it. The problem is that form of iron wrapped around in the animal with the animal's heme molecule, that heme iron leaps into the bloodstream. The body can't hold it out. The, uh, at the intestinal membrane, there are cells that if, it, if the iron is in plants, your cell, the membrane of the intestinal lining, uh, can say, oh, we got enough iron on board, no more iron. But with heme iron, we don't have that power. Heme iron just barges right in uh, and is tucked away in our, in our bone marrow and, and other iron storing uh, organs, so liver, spleen, etc. cetera. Uh, and, and our red meat eating he man, who's eating steak after burger after, uh, after buffalo wing there, is taking on uh, um, significant amounts of iron. And especially we guys, we can't get rid of it. And so it builds up in our tissues, and it's thought to play a role in starting those atherosclerotic plaques, that leads to heart attacks and strokes. And so all this heme iron, no matter what the image is of a macho man uh, eating his red steaks for strength, the truth is uh, there's significant concern that it opens the door to blood vessel disease and cancers. So. Heme iron is not, if you're low in iron, it's not a matter of going to eat steaks, but you may well get some, you need some iron. Now, being a good doctor here, uh, if you are chronically short of iron, do check in with your healthcare practitioner to make sure you are not losing iron, that you're not quietly bleeding from, an, from a polyp in your colon or a quiet little stomach ulcer and, and blood is oozing into the food stream. You don't see it in the, in the toilet. It's occult blood, but make sure uh, that uh, they check your stool for blood and make sure that you're not looking at blood loss. Mm -hmm. um, now, assuming everything's clear on that, uh, these are often women who've been having heavier periods, especially if they've been consuming dairy products with all the estrogens and the cow's milk. Uh, it makes women have, develop big thick linings of their uterus and, and have extra heavy periods, and so they lose extra iron, and they wind up anemic uh, from the heavy periods. Uh, well, first of all, stop the dairy. Stop the, uh, stop the outside uh, uh, hormone load that's uh, you know, making you lose all that iron. But now if you've got an iron deficit, if your ferritin level, which is the amount, which is the form of stored iron in the body, if your ferritin is really low, and especially if you're showing signs in your blood count of an iron deficiency anemia, your red blood cell numbers are down and the red cells are smaller, their volume is small, that's sign of an iron deficiency. Now, if that's the case, then you really do need to get some iron on board. A couple of ways to do it. <clears throat> First of all, and a good idea, especially if you're of the female persuasion and you're still in those years of, uh, of uh, menstrual cycling and you're losing blood every month, absolutely, uh, you want to really follow this advice. Because iron, you know, that old saying, you are what you eat, yeah, it's not true. You are what you absorb. And iron, it can be a tricky mineral to absorb. We absorb only about 1% of the iron we take in. So uh, women in the reproductive years, you want to be generous with iron-containing foods. Which one are those? 
Well, remember the old Popeye the Sailor Man, uh, when he needed uh, extra energy, what did he do? Open up a can of spinach. You know why? Because spinach has iron. And iron makes hemoglobin and da da da, you know, that whole fallacy. Of, that doesn't work that way either for plants, iron, but it's okay. Nice image. But anyway, the point is that dark bean leafy vegetables have iron. Uh, and, uh, but the trick is absorbing it. Well, it turns out, well, so first of all, before I leave that, you just want to be a well-fed plant-based person, have something dark and green every day, have at least once a day, if not twice a day, have a big plate of broccoli, kale, chard, Brussels sprouts, spinach, and have something dark and green every day, you know, for, all, for its own reasons, all the calcium and magnesium and, and B vitamins, and vitamin K, you, you want the greens anyway, but they have some iron. Now, uh, and it's the good kind of iron that your body can hold out if, it, if, it's, if you're fully stocked up on iron. Now, the absorption issue. It turns out that you can increase the absorption of iron from your food by a factor of six with the addition of vitamin C. So what does that mean? Uh, that if you're going to be eating uh, kale, you should take a vitamin C tablet? No. But if you got a big heap of kale in front of you, uh, take some nice lemons and squeeze some nice lemon juice over it uh, and get that citrus and green combination going and you'll absorb more of the iron. If you're making spinach salad, uh, throw some mandarin orange slices in there. Uh, get that citrus and green combo going. So uh, if you do that and chew it up really, really well, uh, then you will absorb more of the iron, and as the weeks go by, you should be able to keep up with your iron needs and hopefully replace any deficit. <clears throat> now, finally, if you're in that category where you are just scraping bottom on your iron load, you really uh, have a significant iron deficiency, uh, <clears throat> then yes, uh, supplemental iron can be helpful. Um, now, most of the iron that you get off the shelf at the store um, I'm not thrilled about it. They can be very constipating and uh, can irritate the stomach lining. The best form of iron supplement I've run into, uh, you buy right off the shelf at the health food store, the natural food store, <clears throat> and, uh, and it's a thick syrup. Uh, remember, uh, green vegetables are not the only source of iron. There are some fruits that have iron. Raisins have iron. Prunes have iron. And dried apricots have iron. So they've made a, a thick syrup out of all these lovely iron-containing uh, fruits, and uh, a couple of teaspoons of it, I believe, gives you 10 milligrams of iron, which is a good jolt of iron. And uh, the name of the product, I have no financial connection with the company at all. Uh, it's called Floridix, F-L-O-R-A-D-I-X, uh, and uh, you buy it off the shelf at the, uh, the health food store. And a couple of teaspoons of Floridix uh, every day, Go through a few bottles of that, and you could usually repair any iron deficits. So, rule out any ongoing source of iron loss. Really, really important. Uh, get your stool checked for cold blood, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Uh, increase the iron-containing foods to dark green leafies. Get some citrus in there somehow. Lemon juice, mandarin orange slices, whatever. Uh, and if you really need to jack up your iron intake, uh, go through a couple of bottles of Floridex, and uh, that usually. Uh, repairs and iron deficits you have there. So, but but red meat is not the way to go. Uh, listen, follow Popeye's example. He was right on. <laughs> Hi everyone, Dr. Michael Clapper here, announcing our new format for our Q and A with Dr. K. Each day, Andy Hagen will be asking me one question that's been sent in by our viewers. So, if you want to see if your question is getting answered, do join us for our daily Q and A with Dr. K right here. Hope to see you then.